Good evening, Cougs, and welcome back. Today is Thursday, November 14th, 2019. I'm your host, Cassidy Cato, and you're watching at UH News. The Starship food delivery robots have officially made their way to the University of Houston campus. That of course are the small white and black machines that many of you have probably seen traveling around campus. The small driving delivery robot is an advanced device that delivers food and even groceries with simply a request from the Starship delivery app. The University of Houston is the first institution of higher education in the state of Texas to offer this one-of-a-kind robotic food delivery service. To request a service, download the Starship Delivery app and choose one of the 11 offered dining locations. Once confirming your request and paying the $1.99 delivery fee, you will not only receive your goods in a timely manner, but you will also be able to track the whereabouts of the robot as it travels to you. Not only is robotic delivery convenient, but it's also affordable and energy efficient. Keep an eye out for UH newest members. It has been reported that University of Houston's senior defensive back has been charged with a second degree felony for aggravated assault. News of this incident broke out just a few days ago and many people are still in disbelief. We have studio reporter Lyric Walker with more on this story. What's going on Kooks? Lyric Walker here reporting to you with At UH News. On Monday, news spread about UH's six foot one senior quarterback, Kadarian Smith, who was suspended from the football team indefinitely following his arrest on November 6th and accused of assault of 60-year-old Thaddeus Lewis. Smith was charged with a second degree felony aggravated assault with serious bodily injury following the attack. Lewis told officers he was approached by Smith in the parking garage as Smith accused him of stealing from Smith's apartment. After being allegedly punched in the face several times, he then fell and was kicked in his upper body upon blacking out. According to court records, when police officers arrived at the Icon Apartments, they found the 60-year-old man with severe facial injuries and bleeding profusely. Lewis, who was then taken to the hospital, had broken bones in his face, a broken nose, cracked ribs, and bleeding in the ear canal. According to an article by senior digital editor at KHLU Channel 2, Smith appeared in court on November 7th and was released on a $20,000 bond. He is set to appear in court next month and may have no contact with the victim at this time. The university released a statement saying that they are aware of the serious allegations regarding Kadarian Smith and there are no further comments at this time. Thanks for watching at UH News. This is Lyric Walker and catch you next time. Thank you, Lyric. On a more exciting note, University of Houston's homecoming is finally upon us. Homecoming week, which began earlier this Monday, is a very enjoyable time for the students, faculty, and staff around campus. Homecoming at the University of Houston is a tradition that dates all the way back to 1946. It is a week dedicated to showcasing cougar pride and spirit. And speaking of showcases, the homecoming concert will take place later on today from 8 to 10 o'clock p.m. at the Lynn Houston Park. Students around campus have been very vocal on their anticipation for the event. If attending, please be sure to have fun and more importantly, be safe. If that doesn't pump you up, then this for sure will. Later on this week on November 16th is game day. Game kickoff starts at 2.30, but not before the traditional homecoming tailgate, which will begin the same day at 10.30 a.m. Tickets for the UH versus Memphis homecoming game are free for students and $10 for alumni and friends. We hope to see you there and make sure you bring your school spirit. Moving along with school spirit, the Rock the Campus event is held on Friday, November 15th from 9 a.m. to noon. Rock the Campus is a campus-wide cleanup event in which students, faculty, and staff are welcome to come out and help maintain the campus overall look. Volunteers are chosen to help with weeding, trash pickup, and contribute to various campus beautifications. Afterwards, pizza will be served at the Lynn Houston Park. If interested, you may register at uh.edu under the Volunteer Opportunities and Events tab. Looking for a reason to hit the gym next week? Well, next Tuesday, November 19th, the Campus Rec is hosting its Plank Off event. Participants will be challenged to hold their plank for the longest time possible. The winner will receive a prize and probably sore abs. 
The event is free and will take place at the Campus Recreation and Wellness Center from 4 to 6 p.m. Go on an adventure with Woody and Buzz on Tuesday the 19th. The showing of Toy Story 4 will be held at the Student Center Theater with three showings starting at 4.30 p.m. Make sure to RSVP to the event and snack on the free food that will be provided. Do not miss out on SPB's last event of the year, Winter Wonderland. Winter Wonderland will contain 60 tons of snow, delicious desserts, t-shirts, and more. This event will take place on Thursday the 21st starting at 12 p.m. Wanting to travel but never having the time? No worries. Around the U.S. Chef Tour is coming to UH on November 21st. This delicious event will be held at Cougar Woods Dining Commons from 11 a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. The tour will contain the most popular regional American dishes for UH students to enjoy. And that is all for this week, Cougs. Please be sure to tune in every Thursday for our weekly newscast. Also, make sure you're following us at Coog TV on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and CoogTV.com to stay informed about events around campus. This has been Cassidy Cato for Coog TV, your school, your story at UH.